sometimes you're sitting in the bed watching a game or whatever and you say, I've got an idea. I'm gonna go to the shop and make it happen. I finally did it. I found a reason to buy a projector. I've been wanting a projector for a long time now and I finally found a project that made it so that I had to buy one. Normally when I'm doing scroll saw work, I'll print out what I'm gonna be cutting and then glue it down to my piece. These pieces were so large that I had to go ahead and get something that could blow up an image and then I could make my cuts. I found this projector on Amazon for pretty cheap and if you're interested in getting one for yourself, I'll leave that link for you down in the description. Anyways, after I traced everything out, it was time to make all of my cuts. If you're paying attention to my tracing, I made sure to trace every single layer that I projected onto the piece of wood. That means all of the bands on the sleeves of the jersey, all of the layers of the numbers. So that means I traced the top black layer of Jordan and 23 and the bottom white outline because I'm gonna be cutting and stacking both. After I cut out all my numbers and letters, I cut out the jersey as well on the scroll saw. That's something that you don't have to do because it is a thicker material. You can use a jigsaw. I went ahead and was brave and used my scroll saw. These are in rough shape. They're gonna to need to be sanded to look pretty nice, but uh, we're on our way. Making scroll saw videos sometimes makes me sad because scrolling is really fun, but it's so boring to watch. So let's move on. All right, so I used a projector to get all the images I wanted. I cut them on the scroll saw. What you didn't know, I didn't just cut out a Michael Jordan jersey. I went ahead and knocked out four jerseys of four specific players. So now I'm gonna transition to painting all of the parts and pieces. I'm gonna put all the details on the actual jerseys and then we will glue everything up. So normally I would spray paint everything because parts and pieces that come off a scroll saw are extremely difficult to paint. But all of the paint colors that I need are pretty iconic and if I use just a regular old blue or a regular old purple, it may not come across the way that I want it to and represent the team that I'm trying to make it represent. So I went in, found the paints at Hobby Lobby. You see my product placement there. I'm not very good with camera focus apparently or getting stuff out of my shot. I actually wanted to experiment on this project and use some stains that were colored to see if I could get a cool look on the plywood jerseys. I do not recommend it. It didn't turn out well. I think I got a stain that was too thick. There was two different viscosities of stain that were red and I didn't like the way it came out. So I should have just painted it, but I quadruple coated it and it just looks like paint now. So I'm fine with how it turned out. For all the details on the jerseys, like the neck band, the arm bands, and the pinstripes down the sides on some of the jerseys, I did that all by hand, which is a dangerous game to play because shaky lines in paint are super obvious, but I was comfortable with it and I was satisfied with how everything looked whenever I was done. I know you've heard me say this before and I will continue to say it. Starbond CA glue is the best tool in my shop. I love it. Every single scroll saw project that I've done has had this glue involved. If you're gluing up a lot of parts and pieces, this CA glue is awesome. All you have to do is lay down a line of glue, then spray the activator and put the two parts together and they will never let go. So alignment is super important when you're putting these jerseys together. I used a square to make sure everything was perfectly measured out and aligned, but initially, whenever I traced these onto their piece of plywood, I traced out where all of the parts and pieces were gonna go. So on some of these lighter colored jerseys, I could see through the actual coats of paint and I could line these up perfectly. Make sure that everything's perfect because that's the only way this project is gonna be top notch. After that, all that is left to do is to hang your jersey collection up and admire. This project is super easy to do, so I don't assume that you guys will have any questions, but if you do, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Bryant for the win! Bang! Let me know who you guys think the GOAT is in the comment section down below. I'm sure that will be a civil conversation.